Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on the Light Leaks Photoshop Overlays collection. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can apply the Light Leaks to your photographs. So this collection comes with 15 Light Leaks and it also comes with 11 colored Light Leaks. Um, but right now I'm going to show you how to get those in there and apply them to your photograph. So I've got this photograph pulled up. The best way to get your Light Leaks into Photoshop is to basically just open the folder that you have them stored in here and just drag and drop. So for this photograph I'm going to be using light leak number 12. So all I'm going to do is just drag it right into Photoshop. Um, so once you have the light leak in here you can go ahead and adjust it. So I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this light leak to expand the length of the photograph and all to do that I just need to pull these little boxes out to the sides here. Alright, so the next step, as you can see, the light leak is covering the entire photograph. So the next step is to go ahead and take out all this black in here so we're just getting the light leak. So you're going to go right over here to this drop down menu where it says normal and you're going to go ahead and choose screen. And that's going to go ahead and apply the light leak without the black backdrop there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark up here because I am okay with where I've applied the light leak. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and color your light leak. They all come in white. If you don't want them to be white, you can easily change the color. I'm going to show you how. So make sure you have your light leak layer selected here. You're going to go up to your layers tab up here and you're going to be choosing new adjustment layer, hue, saturation. So just hit OK. So when you have this little menu open here, what you want to do is you want to hit this little button right here which basically is going to apply the colorization to the layer beneath this layer so that would be the light leak so I'm gonna go ahead and hit colorize and it's already gone ahead and set it at yellow but you can really I mean as you can see you can set it to any color but for the sake of this photograph to make it look you know natural I'm gonna make it look like sunlight so I am gonna go with a kind of yellow tone here and you can change the strength of the saturation as well so you can make it a darker or lighter. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So that's it. So all you had to do was drag and drop and we've changed the color. And you can see what it looks like without the light leak. So it just adds an extra element to your photograph. So let's go ahead and look at a different photograph now. So for this one I'm going to be using light leak number one. So I'm going to go ahead and open my light leaks again. And as you can see, light leak number one comes in a flipped version, so you can have this light leak coming from either the left or the right. For this photograph, I'm going to be having it come in from the right. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the first one and drag and drop. And as you can see, it's already fit to the size of my photograph here. So going back to the drop down menu again, I'm going to go down and I'm choosing screen. And as you can see, the light leak is a little bit kind of strong. So what you can do to kind of make it not as strong or block out as much of the photograph is you can change the opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and I have the layer selected. I'm going to choose opacity here and I'm just going to change the strength a little bit down to 79. So I'm going to hit check and now I'm going to be coloring the light leak again. I'm going to go ahead and choose the new adjustment layer hue saturation make sure I've clicked this box here and colorize and again it's already kind of moved it to a yellow color but for this one I'm gonna make a different I guess stylistic choice and I'm gonna go with a blue color I mean blue may not be the natural light that's coming in from the Sun or wherever this light leak is coming in from but that's the color I'm gonna go with just to show you guys that you can use other colors as well So here it is without the light leak and with the light leak. So as I mentioned before, it just adds an extra element to your photograph. It's just something different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be able to try out the light leaks Photoshop overlays yourself.